So three organizations came together, the Ikhna Council for Social Justice, Dean TV, and a for-profit hijab company called Veiled Butte. So these three organizations came together, sent myself and Tariq Allah uh, from Dean TV out to Standing Rock so that we could document and tell the stories of the people that are there. Currently, we are only concerned uh, about issues that affect Muslims and Muslims alone. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala command us in the Quran? It's that we need to stand up for justice no matter what, for the betterment of all of humanity, for the betterment of all people, for the betterment of people who do not share our faith. And that's what it comes down to. That's the reason why we went to Standing Rock. Winter is coming. <laughs> You're gonna get there, and you're gonna see the tents. It's 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 just like back in the old days, and the cowboys and Indians, you know, and the cavalry cabal and stuff like that. That's what you're gonna see. Snow. The tents are in the snow. They're in the trees. Uh, this thing started back in August. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Awesome. And uh, it, it's really it's really nice to see. Yeah. And I think the people wherever you're from, they'll like it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. This is the Cannonball River right here. So Trump signs this member, do I say President Trump? Yeah, like it or not, he is the president, okay. We're expediting environmental reviews and approvals. That's what this is. So President Trump signs this memorandum that essentially grants energy transfer partners the ability to construct their pipeline on this Native American tribal land that has since been seized um, by the federal government through eminent domain for the past hundred or so years. I have never experienced any kind of cold like this ever. So right here, uh, I have my undershirt, I have thermals, I'm probably gonna be wearing this as well somewhere on top. I cannot feel my fingers right now. I feel like they're literally about to fall off. Got a sweater, a hoodie, I got two pairs of wool socks, maybe gonna do a third. It's negative 20 degrees, and with wind chill, it's negative 50. But got my gloves, okay. And we've been here for five minutes. So over 2,000 veterans came to Standing Rock uh, in November, December, and some have even stayed uh, afterwards. One of those veterans was Bob. My name's Bob, originally from Michigan, two-year degree in computers, signed up in the Army for two years, and ran a computer repair shop for 12 years. Uh, when I was in the Army, I was in, uh, stationed in Würzburg, Germany, fighting the wrong side of the oil well. When you see somebody get carrying a fire extinguisher to put out fires at the oil wells and they get killed, what's the oil for? How much is your blood worth? Mm. My blood's worth a hell of a lot more than a gallon of oil. You're going to hear a bunch of stories. You're going to hear a bunch of uh, information that is communicated from people of other faith. But these... Uh, stories and testimonies that you're gonna hear are, uh, truly embody the mission and the values of what it means to be a Muslim. So when you hear these stories and when you hear these testimonies, you will begin to understand and hopefully see what it means to be a vicegerent of the earth. What it means for us to be caretakers of the earth. This is pretty much the full All Nations camp right here.
Uh, my name is Mike Cobb. I'm from occupied Chinook territory, modern day Portland, Oregon. I came here with a pedal generator by Rock the Bike uh, out of Oakland to keep everybody's personal recording devices charged up so that we can get the ground truth out there um, because there's a lot of uh, major media inaccuracies out there that are uh, harming the campaign. In this day and age with citizen journalism, we actually, as, as people who are impassioned about these issues, we have the power to actually tweak and correct the narrative if we can keep everything charged, you know, in this off-grid environment. So this is, this is the pedal generator right here. And we can do about 25 phones here. It takes just as long as plugging it into the wall as long as you're pedaling. When you stop pedaling, there ain't no juice. And that's my story.